friends, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episode 10 of Healing Good Pretty Care, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Hair, plus my earrings, like, oh. Yeah, but I mean, he ain't say anything. He ain't even stop. Easy. <laughs> no comment. There he is. Come here. Come here. There you go. <laughs> I 
Yeah, because I kind of figured you guys would go with her, but then no, just in case when Lante gets sick, she got y'all got to dash all the way over there. But mmm, let's think about that also as well. Mm. Yeah, that's why it's smart to do research. Nope. Mm. So pretty. So like a plant or some fire. Looks like some fire with some balls on it. Mm -hmm. It's pretty though. I like that bowl over there. Huh. Like what? Or like who? <laughs> How did you forget here so quickly? Oh, hold up, wait, 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 already eight episodes, eight episodes, eight minutes in? What? <laughs> this is too soon, oh my god. <laughs> It, it, it's smart, but <laughs> honestly, this is just the beginning because they're going to pop up everywhere today. <laughs> uh, Cody, what are you doing?
You just came closer, my dog. Oh my goodness. Go lay down. Put your butt down. Sit. Oh my goodness. Okay. You gotta go. Go. I don't. No, 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 no. Go lay on my clothes. You normally like to do that anyway. Huh? That's because there has to be more. Oh my god. This is about to be like a three-parter episode. Maybe. Well, because you know, Kobayashi. Okay, here's the thing, number one. You can't hit me. No! Mm -mm, let's not split up. There's no way in hell you can handle those things on your own. This is not going to end well. This is going to end on a cliffhanger. And you already know how I feel about cliffhangers. I'm getting Symphon Gear vibes all over again with the last two episodes I just freaking watched and how that is ended. <sighs> This might even be more of a two-part rather than a three. But it might be three just in case they want to focus <clears throat> on all three. But who knows. Nope, they ain't doing that. It's definitely a two-parter. Because it's just one of you, and not three of you. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. How many minutes we have? We got eight minutes left. This screams cliffhanger. Does this make, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Because it makes sense for them to get their new power up in this episode, but I don't know. Hmm? She's right about that. This girl just pulled out a damn sword and the wand. What the hell? I mean, but hold up, wouldn't that have been smarter to get all three Mega Beacons all together and then to just defeat them right then and there? But, I mean, do what you gotta do, right? <laughs> Well, that's one. Two to go. Daddy. It's something rather than nothing. Oh. 
Yeah, that's a cliffhanger. But you know what? Honestly, that's not that bad. If they had a, if it would have been like this, they got to the next element, a mega boobin, and it was setting up that battle. And then they did like a big old shonen like <laughs> cliffhanger where it's a really nice dramatic artwork. <laughs> if they just ended it there, yeah, I probably would have been a little more pissed. But honestly, it wasn't really that bad. I like the fact that it is going to be possibly a two to three parter episode. And I'm guessing by the last episode, which would be 12, they should get their new power-up. I'm guessing because of our, I've seen scans because of a person who I follow, follows someone else who follows pretty curious shit. And the next thing you know, I'm like scrolling down my timeline and then I see it. And this girl, I, I, lo I love her to death, but sometimes I'm like, I don't want to see it sometimes because I don't want to get spoiled, but I was like, okay. I was like, it's cute though, but it's okay. You just retweet it and then it's there. And then sometimes I need to put like, stop following, putting retweets by such and such with three hearts, but it's okay. <laughs> but the episode was really good. I liked it. I wish we kind of got to learn more about the glass sculptures, but because of the fact that this is really a three on three battle, uh, really one on one, three on three beat bullshit like that. But you, you can't really focus on it. Maybe towards like the third part, they might. <laughs> okay, and it also seems like. They about to have their first argument, so I don't know, cause like the just the way it looks with the way um, Hina was kind of like yelling from what it looked like in that. I mean, we ain't going on until next Sunday. Uh, to Naroka, that officially seems because like with these girls, even though yes, it's been ten whole episodes as of right now, I I really just want to see these girls fight and argue just for a moment. And then put aside their differences and then go ahead and fight the last Mega Vegan and then make up after. Because the thing at the end of the day, who's the most important, is Latte, no matter what. And so, I mean, this is the biggest thing I want, honestly. I mean, with Star Trickle Pretty Cure, you had both Hikaru and Lala not always fighting, but they did argue because, you know, their personalities are too different, but a little bit similar. So, you know, they were going to butt heads at times, and that's okay. <laughs> it's why I think me and maybe several other people love them so much. But, okay. So the one thing that I can finally say about this damn series after 10 episodes is I do like this one a little bit more or a lot more than the previous series. I mean, because, like, I, I really thought about this last night and I was looking at, re-looking at Star Trek Pretty Cure as a whole and it had a strong opening. A really good strong opening to the point where I was like, damn, this might be my new top favorite. And then you had that BS of an ending, which I personally don't really accept. So honestly, this is better than that. I'm sorry. Even though we are not done with this series, but we're only really 10 episodes in, I feel like these past 10 episodes were a lot better than the first 10 episodes of Star Twinkle. I felt more invested into the plot, into the story, into the characters. While with the girls of Star Twinkle, I felt kind of 
wishy-washy with it at times, even though I still was enjoying it as heck. But it's just like, there were points where I was like sitting here and I was like, oh my God, like when is the plot going to get interesting again? Because I don't know. It, it just, like to me, it just, as I said, Star Trek will have a really start beginning. And then it just, I don't know. I don't want to say like when uni came in, it picked it back up on a, up a notch, but like, it's just that ending. The last couple of episodes just like <laughs> put a really bad taste in my mouth. And I was just like, I, I think that was when I was kind of debating. I was like, am I really going to watch another season? I'm pretty curious. And then we got the call that Aoi Yuki was going to be it. And I was like, hmm, yeah, I'm going to watch another season. I'm pretty curious because it's Aoi fucking Yuki. And I still love this show to death no matter what. But other than that, guys, that was my reaction to you towards episode 10 of Healing Good Free Care. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys, especially all next Sunday for episode 11. Bye, guys.